So these are the 55-pound uh, an hour Delphi Low Z injectors in the 740-1990 fuel rail, and it can be done, but you're going to have to shave on the block itself where the fuel rail mounts about three millimeters off the aluminum. And the reason you have to do that is when you put the standard injectors in, let me grab one of those for you. It's just a hair bit longer than the Delphi. So you have to lower this entire rail down three millimeters. Now you can't go tweaking on these actual mounts because if you bend them, you end up having that funky offset injector, and I've seen it where guys have actually tweaked on these tabs that stick out from the fuel rail here, and where the injector goes in, they're crooked. The injector doesn't sit flush, it's like tweaked out left or right. And I'm sure they still get a seal, but for how long, or how good is that seal? So, also the injector, if you do do the mod, and try to put the clips in up here, and do the bendy mod that you see online, the injector's spray nozzle that sits down in here, get a light right, that sucker doesn't sit flush, and these injectors, the Volvo ones, actually have this cap on the end and it sits down in at the same height I have them now where they just stick out of the port. So if you want to get them right, you're going to have to cut this down three millimeters from the top. Your bolt's going to stick out at the bottom just a hair. And you do that all the way around. Now if you're not that good with a hacksaw, I probably wouldn't give it a try. I uh, first cut it at about two and a half millimeters and then I used a metal file for about a half an hour and got it flat and then after that I took a Dremel bit and flattened it even more and got to three mils and I measured it up and here's the main thing you want them tight but you want to be able to move them without them hitting on the plastic on the top and bottom and so you should be able to just move them up and down a millimeter and you won't need the clips then so as you can see I can move them up and down just about a mil and that way they're seated right but they're not just jammed in there with pressure against the rail and the top of the plastic on the injectors that go inside well good luck thought I'd show you how I did it